Hey everybody, it's Karen here from Blooming Poppies and I just wanted to check in today with my um, pillow covers that I made this week um, from, from my Journey Home quilt pattern. And the pattern itself comes with um, instructions for five sizes. I did just, um, I chose to do the smallest size, which is the 18, finishes at 18 inches. Um, and it, this can be made into either um, a pillow, a, a pillow cover, or a wall hanging, or you could technically put, you know, a few of these together, make a nice, um, generous sized um, table runner. So a lot you can do with these. But I just love these. I'm super excited to make these into pillow covers. So I'm gonna make the back of them today. Um, but what I wanted to share with you is what I like to do with the off cuts that I get. And off cuts, for those of you who are not familiar with that term, um, is just the excess fabric that when you're working with a block and you have to cut the block to make it what you want ultimately for it to be, sometimes you have extra pieces of fabric. And in this case, for the Journey Home quilt pattern, um, you do end up with quite a number of these triangles, which are perfect for uh, making into half square triangles. And what I like to do then with my half square triangles is, well, there's a ton you can do, as many of you know, with half square triangles. In this case, I made them into flying geese. And these will be um, incorporated into the backing fabric for my pillows. So what I wanted to do today is show you how I work with these. So So I've already, I've cha I chain pieced these and then I cut them apart and then realized like, oh, I should show you my chain, but um, I already cut my chain. <laughs> so, um, so these were just chain pieced through my machine, just one after the other, super fast. It just goes really quickly. Um, and now they're ready to be pressed and then trimmed. And for HSTs, um, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing it. I personally, just for the ease and, and speed of, of pressing and getting through the project, I just press these to the side. A lot of times I like to press things open, but in this case, I'll press to the side and then I can come over here and start to, to um, trim. So that's what I wanna show you. I'm gonna take these over to my pressing board give them a quick press, and then I'll come back and show you how I trim these up to the right size. Okay, so I have uh, pressed all of my half square triangles, pressed them off all to the side, super quick and easy. And I just want to talk real quickly about rulers and how we can use these grid rulers for trimming and sizing um, the HSTs. So I have, um, over the years, collected quite a variety of these OmniGrip um, rulers. Love these things, they're amazing. And um, the great thing about these is that while this one here is a six and a half inch, um, I can trim perfectly a six and a half inch block. Um, what I love about this is that I can also trim a two and a half, a two and a half inch block, or a two inch block, three inch, anything below six and a half inches, less than six and a half, I can trim that perfectly as well, using just this ruler. Here's a seven and a half inch um, block ruler. If you, if that's all you had, again, you could use that as well, because it does have your three and a half three to three and a half, which is about actually possibly two and three quarters is where we're gonna end up with these blocks. So as long as, like I said, it's it's got the measurement for anything less than what you're gonna want, you can uh, use it. So these are very versatile. Um, so what we're gonna do to trim the HST is I'm gonna just gauge here exactly how big I can get this and I kind of want to show you guys um, a little more close up because I just want you to be able to see first of all for those of you that this is maybe brand new to um, 
This is your seam line. This is the diagonal line in the ruler, and you're going to line those two things up. And you're just going to find the 90 degree angle, the corner here, corner to corner, and line up that diagonal line. And you can see that I'm actually just shy of three inches on both sides. So the three inch is not actually going to work. So I'm going to just go to two and three quarters. Easy peasy. Okay, so I move that out, keeping my diagonal grid line lined up with my seam. And I find here my two and one quarter, one half, three quarters. That's my two and, and um, just to give you a little, that's it right there. So that's the two and three quarter line. That's the two and three quarter corner. And I have it lined up nicely with my corner here. And you can see it goes all the way around. So it's going to be a super nice, clean two and three quarters. I'm going to just trim that up. I'm going to turn it around so I can get that dog ear off. Then I'm going to trim off that other side, which is pretty much just the dog ear piece. Okay. And then you've got a super nice, clean two and three quarter. And you can sew those together into your, um, into your flying geese, as long as they can, these can be any weird size, um, as long as they're the same. And for this, because I'm not using the, the flying geese for any kind of pattern, I'm just gonna be piecing them into the backing of my pillow. It doesn't matter what the finished size is, for me anyway, so I'm sort of improving the back fabric um, for, the, for the pillows. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these guys, um, trim them down to the two and three quarters, and then I can sew them together into my fine geese. went and, and chain pieced some more of my little off cuts here and you can see I've got a nice long chain of these guys. They were just easy to put in the machine and take right out. So this is what I got. So now I'm just going to uh, snip these guys and start my process all over again. And what I have, um, I'll finish that later, but what I have um, is a nice stack of trimmed, ready to go flying geese. And these will somehow, I don't really know yet how, that's sort of the, where the improv work comes in, but these will somehow be incorporated into my backing fabric for my um, journey home pillow covers and I will be incorporating the rest of these so I'll have quite a bit of flying geese on the back which I think is just a nice accompaniment to the um, to the pillow front so that's it how to use your offcuts for these cute little HSTs mm -hmm.